Hey guys, I'm back, and it is our first box from Blade and Barrel. This is the number one requested new subscription from you guys out there in YouTube land. So I'm glad it's here. I'm excited. Thanks to the uh, awesome, wonderful, caretaking U.S. Postal Service for delivering this box in pristine condition. I would do shout outs today, but I don't have my computer in front of me. So let's just get right into this and... Uh, I'm using this knife, which I'm not happy with and I don't recommend to anybody. It's a Tactical Gears knife. It's a clone of a, God, I can't remember if it's a, Mar I think it's a Marathon Custom. Um, it was it was an Amazon Lightning deal and I just grabbed it before I realized what it really was. Um, it's not good. It's not good, but it's in my hand right now. So we're gonna use this to open the box. So I can't remember to tell you the truth, which one of these I signed up for. Um, which size? Uh, it says here there's level one and there's level two. I don't know. Um, I guess we'll find out when we go through everything in the box and we look at it. So uh, let's see. So we've got the box contents for March 2018. I like it. Nice, simple card that gives uh, all of our packing stuff. But looking at one of the items in there, uh, I remember now I got level two which I guess is the, the higher level of the, the two, level one and level two, based on the MSRPs of everything. Uh, of, of really only two things in there. So, blade and barrel, let's take a look. Let's look at Walker Razor Electronic Muffs with an MSRP of $70. So, fairly heavy, good for on the range, electronic noise dampening. It says that it reduces uh, noises by 23 decibels. On the given scale of 0 to 30, 23 is not bad at all, right? Not bad. So let's uh, actually crack this open and take a look at them. I'll be honest with you guys, like I usually am. Uh, I'm not very knowledgeable. Oh, hey, there's batteries. I'm not very knowledgeable on these like noise-canceling um, shooting muffs at all. I usually just use my, my little ridiculous foamy little military yellow earplugs when I shoot because it's just what I'm used to. <clears throat> and that's probably, these are probably much, much better. Yeah, I just smell them because I smell everything. They have a nice, nice new equipment smell to them. So the last ones I got didn't have this cool audio in. So I guess while you're shooting, doing stuff, you can listen to some music or whatever else you want. Nice. Um, I'm going to try them on. Nice. Wow. Actually does a great job of taking that sudden sound and filtering it out while kind of giving you a good continued hearing presence of what's around you. These are actually, uh, I mean, right now. Now that's me clapping in the kitchen. I'm not sure, uh, you know, on the range or anything, so I haven't used them, but... Pretty good. A lot fancier than little uh, foamy yellow earplugs or little orange plastic rubbery things that fit in your ear that the military gives you. Um, so I like this. I haven't used it yet, but I I definitely do like it. Excited to take it on the range and try it out. Now, again, I, you know, you guys are going to have to tell me. People have uh, more experience with this. $70. Good price, bad price, true, false, I don't know. I'm not sure, but definitely... Um, I, I love that it's a brand new box, taking the first item out of a brand new box and feeling like it's a good item, it's solid, it works, it does what it says, and, uh, you know, I feel like it's useful and well-made. It feels solid, doesn't look like crap, everything looks pretty well-made. I mean, like, you know, it looks like a decent product. Fits well, um, it's comfortable, it's snug in the right places, it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, you, you ever put on some of these hearing protection devices or something or you know i used to wear david clark headphones for for work i don't know if you're familiar with david clark's but sometimes they just they pinch in the wrong place or whatever but these fit really nicely so it's really nice to pull out the first item from a new box and be like yeah i like it cool so this is going in the like it pile i'll put it right there next tricorn Spool tool, MSRP of $20. And actually, I think this is exactly what some people had mentioned when I looked at the turd. You remember the turd? 
they talked about me uh, looking into getting one of these. So I can tell you right now, uh, number one, I'm excited to try it out, like, because this was recommended, but they say the MSRP is for $20. I was looking at these already on Amazon. I know for a fact we can get them for, you know, between 12 and 14 right away. So the price doesn't match, but let's take a look at the actual product. So it's an, <coughs> an alternate way to carry your paracord. You can spool it up there. It's got a cutter. It holds a lighter, which is cool because, you know, the tactical rope dispenser, the turd, did not have a lighter on it. And that's one of the things when you're working with 550 cord, if you don't melt the ends, they will fray and they will shrivel and they will get gross. And I hate when that happens. So I guess this is made for a standard little Bic lighter. I don't know, built in mini Bic lighter holders. It's gotta be a mini Bic. I don't have one that'll fit that right now. Um, I do wanna test out that cutting blade though. So stand by. So this is 50 feet right here that I just have lying around. Different color, yay. So let's see, just poke a little bit through right there and start spooling. It's not bad. This is a very messy spool but that I made. But this is a very simple device. And then what can we just lock it in there? Well, supposedly you're supposed to be able to just lock it in there. So get it in those notches. A little rough getting in those notches. Ethan is playing with a plastic golf set in the living room and is really enjoying it. I don't know if you heard that. So getting the cord in these little notches is a little little rough. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong there, but package says these notches fit both commercial and issued 550 cord and mil spec. But this is commercial. Well, I guess that's the best I'm going to do right now, but whatever. I would rather have this sitting in my pack, I think, than the whole turd deal, honestly. Let's check this. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, that cuts so easily. That cuts so nicely. And then, now the only problem is if we could just get it to notch up right there a little easier, that would be great. But I guess that'll kind of hold. And it might be this cord, you know. Like I said, this is commercial cord. This is not mil spec cord. This is not issued cord. But so those of you who recommended I try this thing out were right. I like this a lot better than the turd. Um, especially when you know I'll get a little mini bit, put it in there, and I've got my my lighter source right there. Very convenient. Throw it right in a pack. Awesome. Now, does it say how much cord it will hold specifically? Because I usually carry, you know, in 100 foot hanks, holds 100 feet. Perfect. So, interesting. Now again, they say the MSRP there is, is $20. I know for a fact you can find them cheaper. Um, I don't know if it's, you know, a brand name thing or what, but nice item. So number two. And when you take, by the way, when you take the time to wrap it nicely, I'm sure it looks a lot better than this. And it looks a lot more like this or this. So, two items in the like it pile right off the bat with this new subscription. Yay, pretty cool. All right, the Cold Steel Counterpoint 2. This is what I have been waiting for because I saw it in the box. Um, saw the knife. Oh, now that I see a picture of the knife, I'm not so sure I like it, but... Let's see. Cold Steel. You know, they have so many different kinds of packaging, Cold Steel. Oh. This is kind of a little knife. Now, this is the thing. You know, I've always said Cold Steel really overprices a lot of stuff. The MSRP on this thing is $85, and it is plastic and 440C. This is a plastic handle, 440C. Wow. This little 440C blade, $85. Um... I feel like something's wrong with the way, I don't know, just the design of it makes the blade look like it's sticking up, I don't know. Well, all right, so I, I don't like it. I just, I'll tell you right now, I don't like it. it, it it's, it's not comfortable to hold. It's small, 
So, you know, if you wanted EDC, you could, but it's... I don't know, it just it doesn't feel good. I don't like the way it looks at all. Um, I, I feel like this was designed to look a certain way rather than function well and be designed well. I, I just, I don't like this at all. I mean, well, centering is good. We know that. It's a lockback. We don't need to test the lock. I mean, it's lockbacks are usually some of the most solid locking knives in the world. I just don't even know. I was hoping for a better blade from from a box that calls itself blade and barrel. This is, uh, I don't know, 85, you know, Cold Steel would there, I don't know how they estimate the value of their own knives. Um, Cold Steel and Gerber, the way that they overestimate stuff. But, well, at least it comes out of the box pretty sharp. But it is a very good edge, but this is not something that I am prone to carry at all. I just, I don't really like this knife. And I'm sorry, I'm just, it's not worth $85. It doesn't feel well put together. Um, I mean, I don't see any fit and finish problems, but it just, it has that, it has a very cheap knife feel. It really does. Uh, this is like, I've said this before, cold steel with me is super hit and miss. It is reversible clip, so tip up left or right, but it just, I cannot put into words. The, the handle just disappears into your hand. There's, it just, for my hands, it doesn't give a real good feeling with the grip. Very disappointed in this knife. I don't feel like this is a practical shape knife. I don't feel like this is a good utility knife. I feel like this is a knife for somebody that wants to feel like they want to pretend they're a secret agent or something. You know, and I, I don't know if you get what I mean, but this is not a good knife. It's for, for my practical purposes. Anyway, I've spent too long on the knife. So three items in. We've got uh, two like it's, one don't like it. Thrime or... Th Thrim cell vault, MSRP of $20. Waterproof storage device that attaches to pretty much anything, is what they say. So let's see. So it is essentially, yes, it is just, I mean, it's a little tube. It connects. You could put that on a strap, you could put that on, you could put it through Molly actually if you wanted to. Um, it is basically just a small storage device. That is all it really is. It's just a little storage device. Here, they give you some suggested uses. Medication, it'll carry only two double A's. I feel like you could maybe fit four double A's in there. Oh, two double A's. I guess maybe the height. Two double A's, four triple A's. Um, is there like more information inside? No. It actually, I, I could, I could turn this into a nice little fire starting kit, a small one, but just a little bit of tinder and some, uh, weatherproof matches in there. And that could clip onto just about any bag. $20. I don't know. Is that an O-ring in there? Is that an actual, yeah, that's an actual O-ring. So it is waterproof and everything, I think. Yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about the price, but it's, you know, it, this box started off kind of exciting and now it's sort of like going meh. So this is going into the, not meh, I'm renaming the map pile, just, it, it's not a terribly exciting thing. I definitely think it's useful, I'm not super excited about it. So that's going into there. And then we've got one thing left and it's a right in the rain three by five notebook and, um, while these are terribly useful, I have, if you remember the video I just put together a little while ago about tactical and field writing and stuff, I have a bunch. Um, but at least they didn't get crazy with the MSRP on this. $4 is a great price for one of these because I've seen these charge, you know, costing a lot more than $4. These are very good to have in all situations though. The key is that it, it's not just the notebook though. You've got to have an appropriate writing device. You try to write on on this with um, like a gel pen um, or a you know a, a wet ink pen. Like a ballpoint pen dries pretty quickly. 
pencil works great, crayon works good. Um, there are some things that you write on this with though and it is just going to smudge right off or it won't even take to the paper. Um, Sharpies work really, really well. Wet erase marker, not a great idea to write on waterproof paper, you know, stuff that you intend to use out in the rain and stuff. But I swear by Write in the Rain products. I love Write in the Rain products. And to have one more is uh, just good for me. I will throw this somewhere in a pack or whatever, and I will definitely get good use out of this. So this goes in the like it pile. And for them to source it at $4 uh, a pad, that's pretty good, actually, because I think that's even more than that at the BX, where the last place I actually bought some of So that's going to like it pile. So overall, look, the, the truth is I'm not thrilled with Blade and Barrel so far, but it is only the first box. So I'm not going to, you know, get all discouraged about it right now. I've got some cool items, definitely some cool items in the like it pile. I'm hoping we'll get some better blades in Blade and Barrel in the future. Not thrilled with that cold steel knife at all, but then again, I've never really been a cold steel fan. These are great. Can't wait to test them out though at the range and see how they really work. Um, very excited to make some good use out of this. It was suggested by a number of viewers and you know, I might get a couple more now just based on this because it's pretty, pretty useful talked about this. Um, I will try this out and actually carry it around a little bit just to make sure it's not just me negative Nancying the design, uh, the feel of the shape. Maybe it does have some practical use. I don't know, but we'll see. And this, I think I can make something good out of this. I think I can get some good use out of it. I'm not thrilled, but I think we can, we can do good with it. It's interesting to me though, that with some subscriptions, the difference in the different levels sometimes are very drastic. Here, it's just a couple items that are that are really different. Glad I didn't get the Cold Steel True Flight Throwing Knife. That would, that would be upsetting. Um, but, you know, here, like, two items are exactly the same. And some are just small differences. So, first, Blade and Barrel. Um, like I said, I'm kind of withholding judgment overall. We got some good items, got some items I'm not thrilled with. But, you know, let's see what they bring on for April. Thanks, guys. I appreciate every single one of you. You are all totally awesome, and I'll be back again real soon.